Bhagavad Gita, text 4.4 Arjuna said, You took birth long after Vivaswan was born. How then am I to understand that you instructed him previously? Although the historical legacy of the doctrine of yoga is itself impressive, Krishna's alleged involvement in it is bewildering to Arjuna. Arjuna, in confusion as to how Krishna, who was standing before him, could have taught this art of work to the ancient sun god, conjectures thus. If Krishna taught this to the sun god, it certainly testifies to his own divinity. For it is improper for humans to instruct gods and unusual for them to remember their previous lives. By asking about Krishna's apparent recent human birth in contrast with the ancient celestial birth of the sun god at the dawn of creation, Arjuna has paved the way for Krishna to enlighten him about the divine nature of his appearance in this world. In this way, he is inching a discussion centered on self-realization in the direction of God-realization. Although this discussion of the avatara is tangential to the topic at hand, it is foundational to devotion, the central theme of Krishna's discourse. What Krishna has said about his instructing the sun god previously is humanly impossible. If Krishna taught the sun god in another body, he could not remember it in his present human body. Neither could Krishna have taught the sun god in his present body at the dawn of creation due to its apparent human and temporal nature. Thus, the teaching of the Gita as to the omniscience and eternal nature of Krishna's human-like form is introduced by Arjuna's question. Although Arjuna knows that Krishna is God, his friendship with him sometimes covers that knowledge. Furthermore, according to Baladeva Vidyabhushana, only Krishna knows his own nature. Thus, Krishna explains his omniscience in verse 5 and his eternality in verse 6.